Hi, Prepper, um, this is a talk, a workshop on a preparation during the week before the musical. This is more about what you do, not on stage, but what you do outside the rehearsal time and the performing time. And then the next section, I'll explain a little bit more about what you do in preparation when you're at the theatre itself before you perform. Um, so, and, and wishing you all the best too in your perform coming performance. Um, so what I would do in preparation during this time is to focus on the, um, the different aspects. So think of your body, your mind, your spirit, your emotions. So about your body, you need to eat well and, and of course, you know, have a balanced diet and avoid spicy food and all that because you'll obviously be um, singing and acting and all this and you don't want it to upset your stomach and um, eat lots of fruits and vegetables and I know a good friend who's an opera singer as most of you are involved in a musical she doesn't eat much meat during you know um, on the day of her performance she eats lots of vegetables and fruit things like that and um, also drink lots of water. I heard that um, Nicole Kidman drinks about five liters of water, someone told me. And also make sure you have a real, um, really good sleep. Um, with regards also to your diet, tr um, a good for your, for your voice is pineapple juice and honey. And, um, and then with your, um, with your sleeping, obviously if you if you will have less stress if you sleep better so try and get to bed early I know you want probably want to go through lots and lots of rehearsals close to the time but try to balance that up and of course as um, people of faith praying a lot will get you peaceful deep breathing I usually do some exercises like deep breathing in visualizing into your feet and then hold it for four seconds and then breathe out slowly hissing through your lips once again breathe in deeply through your feet and breathe out slowly and that sort of slows down your breathing helps you to relax and getting and using exercises to, to help you relax and getting before you get on the stage jumping up and down which gets the endorphins going and massages and hugs so those sort of things help and the other area of keeping well before you perform it during the week is to have um, a sense of emotional health you know people can especially when you're very stressed you can lose and I sometimes can lose my temper among my family or close friends but um, as much during this time be, be aware and be if you can get your emotions out in an, in other healthy ways because obviously if you cause conflicts just before you get on stage or just before you perform it can you know put you out of whack in a sense of performance so i encourage you to try and deal with your emotions through journaling um, talking to a good friend counselor talking to god and there's exercises like squeezing a bottle which gets that stress emotion out and you know squeezing a bottle of water and then that sort of releases all those stress balls and the other thing also is to um, um, avoid um, you know if someone gets you upset maybe either move away or tell them how you're feeling but avoid maybe attacking them and you know that sort of thing yeah I suppose be vigilant because also because we're entering this time of getting ready that um, sometimes the the evil one or you know the person who's against God might not like what we're doing so pray and and um, be vigilant and have safeguards be careful on the road you know during the time especially in the musical I try to avoid taking any risks you know like quit making a quick drive you know like making jerk or when I'm lifting things being extra careful um, so be in an attitude of prayer and ask the Holy Spirit for his perspective. Often when something upsets me, if someone looks at me in a sudden way, I think, oh, they're giving me a dirty look or, oh, they cross at me. But rather than jump to those conclusions, which I often do, I'll, I'll say, Holy Spirit, what is your perspective? Is it true that this person is 
against me or attacking me personally. Most times, nearly 95% people don't mean to hurt each other, they're just probably tired. And four or five things to work out that stresses out and to be a vigilant is the thing halt. When you're hungry, when you're angry, when you're livid, and when you are tired, you're more prone to getting stressed and losing it. So try to avoid those, you know, make sure you feed well, you rest well. So H-A-L to try and avoid that. And the other thing is hold your tongue. When you really, especially during when your rehearsals and your friends and family, you, you, you feel like, you know, getting upset because you're stressed and you're tired, you know. And what I do is sometimes run out of the room and just start praying, start journaling my anger, my swear words, and visualizing that person, you know, getting angry at that person visually, but not to them, in a sense of expressing, not to hurt them, but to get the emotions out, not on them, but processing them. And then once you get those emotions out through journaling, prayer, maybe exercising, or drawing, or talking to someone, then you say, God, what is your perspective? You know, is it true this person's against me? Is it true that, you know, uh, that that person doesn't like me? And, and ask God's perspective, because God, as you know, always loves us and wants us to be at peace. So during this time, be aware of your body, your mind, and your spirit, and pray for the Lord to bless you. And when you go to rehearsals, it's very important during this time to make it to all rehearsals, to get there early, to maybe decrease your involvement in other things during this time, because you're really on a mission, a mission of life, a mission of love, to build a culture of life and hope. So this um, ends my the first part of getting ready before you go into the theatre during the week of the rehearsals. Thank you.